All right, so now today we're going to set up a dimmer with Lutron Caseta Wireless. And so we have a lamp dimmer. So in the box, you have the actual lamp dimmer, and you have a Pico remote control. So you can control it uh, from anywhere in your house uh, within 30 feet of it, actually, uh, by using the dimmer. So you can use your iPhone or the Pico. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up today. So we're just going to take it out of the box. I just have an extension cord here uh, for today. So we're going to just plug it in to the extension cord. And we're going to plug it, a lamp into it. So we have our uh, lamp dimmer plugged into electrical outlet, which normally would be right on your wall, and then we plugged in a lamp. It does allow you to plug in two lamps, so like each side of a sofa you could have a lamp, and they would dim synchronized um, together. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to open up the Lutron app on my iPhone, or on my iPod, and I'm going to go to plug in dimmer, and it just tells me to hold this button down. So we're going to hold it down. And we're going to watch this LED light start to blink. We're going to let go. That's about 10 seconds. And you can see it has that. So I'm going to put uh, desk lamp. So we're going to add our desk lamp to it. And I'm going to go ahead and tap. I want to add another device real quick. I'm going to do my Pico remote. So again, I'll hold down the bottom button for 10 seconds until the light here flashes quickly. All right, I can let go. I'm just going to put desk lamp Pico. Next. And it's going to set that up. And so what do I want it to control? I'm going to have it control the desk lamp because that's what I want to do right now. That's what I named it. The neat thing is that one Pico can control multiple devices, so you can have three shades all controlled by one Pico so they stay synchronized together. And I'm going to tap on Done. And so now I can control my lamp. So let me go ahead and show you my lamp, just a minute. So here's my lamp that's controlled by the dimmer. So I can use the buttons right on the device, which is fine, but not necessarily practical because this is going to be on your wall. But I can turn it on and off or have it dim incrementally. So I'm going to turn it all the way to full brightness. So that's one way to control it, is right on the wall. So if you lose your Pico or don't have your phone, you can still control your lamp. So here's the Pico control, which allowed me to control it from anywhere in the room. I can put this on a pedestal and leave it on a tabletop, like an end table, or I can actually mount it on the wall with a wall mount, so I can keep it just like a light switch would normally be, but I can control it so I can control my lamps on the wall. So I can dim the light just by holding down the arrows. So you can see that light dim or go up, turn off, and it'll just fade off, nice and nice smooth fade. And then I can turn it back on. So I'm going to turn it back on, and that's my Pico control, which comes with the kit. So it comes with the dimmer and the, the Pico in one kit. Then I can also use my iPhone, of course. So I can use my iPhone, iPod, iPod, um, iPad. And so if I just tap on my light, so there's my desk lamp, and now I can adjust. You can see how responsive it is. It's responding to my touch um, instantly. There's no delay in that. And I can dim all the way down to a very low number. And this is an LED, dimmable LED bulb in here, which lets me get very low dimming, uh, much better than a compact fluorescent bulb will let me get. Uh, so I can go up or down, and then on and off. And so now I can start programming this. Once I add a few more dimmers or shades, I can start programming this. And we'll cover some of the programming in another video. Thanks for watching.